Hi, I'm Teddy Burris your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. I got asked this question. Can the owner of a Google document see when I'm on their document or or and or can they see the history of my activity? I'm going to show you the answer to that question. But before I do hit that subscribe and notify button, I create all of this content for you. Let me preface this with that the owner of a Google document can see the icons of anonymous and or others who they shared it directly with. Uh, that is across both Gmail and Google Workspace. But this dashboard is only accessible to uh, owners of documents who are using Google Workspace. So here's a document I got. This is um, this is in my Google Workspace account for if you see right here, it's for Teddy Burris at uh, TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com. This is my business account, and I have a document called Onboarding that I use with my business partner for one of my shows I do. And I've shared this document. Look at the share over here. You can see I've shared it with a bunch of people. Okay. Now I've also made the document available to anybody who has the link. And so I'll show you the difference between what I can see with people who I've given access to and people who access it via the link who they're not logging in with their specific email address. Now, here you'll see up top that, you know, uh, Burris consulted Gmail is accessing it because I gave him permission. If I go over here to his account, over here in his account, you can see he's over here. He's doing stuff. Now, if we go back to my business, you'll see that you know, right here it is Burris Consulting, BCI Testing. You'll also see that over here, Teddy Burris at SCORE Volunteers accessed it. Now, if I go over to his computer, let me go over to his computer. Give me a second. You can see right there, there's Teddy Burris at, at SCORE Volunteer. And now, but look over here. I have an anonymous dolphin. I have somebody else accessing this spreadsheet. But they're not logged in. Let me go take a see who that is. So you see the other person accessing it, the, the dolphin, happens to be my teddyburrs at gmail.com account accessing this document through the public link. Let me go back and show you what I'm talking about. You can see again and share. I've shared it with, you know, teddyburrs.com. Burris Consultant at Gmail, Randy Wooden, Rebecca. I've also shared it with Randy Wooden Gmail and Randy Wooden his business. And there goes Teddy Burris. But it's not shared with Teddy Burris at gmail.com. He again he's accessed it through the public link. Now, this is what you can see. There's a little uh, document editor where I can see the activity dashboard. So on the dashboard, there's a couple really, there's three really good pieces to look at. Actually, four. Let's talk about viewers. These are the viewers that it's shared with directly. I shared it with these folks, and you can see that within the last hour, myself, my Teddy Burris at Score, and BCI at gmail.com have all viewed it. Randy viewed it last on June 21st. Rebecca has not. Neither has Randy at Goodwill. This is Randy Wooden at Gmail. This is Randy Wooden at Goodwill. So, that's viewers. Now you also look at viewer trend and you can see daily unique viewers are on the 23rd, one viewer, and I think that was me. And on the 24th, which is today, I have three viewers, three unique viewers. Let me see if I can create a fourth and see what happens. Give me a second. And it didn't go up because that fourth viewer uh, is an anonymous. So I don't, I do not see anonymous viewers, which is uh, interesting. So viewer trends and viewers are only related to people who it was shared with directly. Now here's another one. Comment trend just shows comments and, and that people have or have not done. Sharing history. This is interesting. This is, you know, I've got it, anyone of the link can access it. No sign in required. Now you can see that to uh, let's go to the bottom. You can see I first shared it with Rebecca, and then I shared it with anybody at Burris Consulting. Then I took that away and said anybody on the internet on June 17, 2020. Then you can see on August 5th, 2021, I shared it with Randy Wooden at Goodwill, and Randy Wooden is his, his Gmail account. And then you can see I removed both of those, and then I added them back. Really, I did that to alert him so he'd get the new email. 
And then I added Teddy Burris' score today. I already added BCI testing today. So here's the sharing history. Pretty interesting. You can see that this activity, and you can see where you've done it right or where maybe you've made mistakes and you got to fix it. Now, the last thing on privacy settings, account setting, show my view history of all documents. Oop, turn that back on. Show my view history of all documents. So this will say document editors and owners can see my view history of all doc sheets and slides that they share with me. And then document setting, show my view history for this specific document. So I could turn that off for this specific document. Pretty interesting. If you want to, you know, hide your activity, you can turn that off, um, and so that no one can see what's what you're doing. Now, if I go look at someone else who's accessing this, I can show you. Let me show you over here. Let me bring this over. Here's the Teddy Burris at Score Score Volunteers. There's the dashboard, and look, I can't see the document history. But here's where I can turn on or turn off my privacy so that um, uh, for, for this document or for all documents, I can hide my activity. Let me move this out of the way and show you another one. Here's the uh, Burris Consulting at Gmail. I don't have access to the stats. Now, I can see who's in there that's logged in. That would be the SCORE volunteer, and that would be my, my own account. But I can also see these two anonymous accounts. So interesting. Let me go back to the owner of the, of the document. So the activity dashboard is very useful, primarily for you to be able to see who has accessed the document and, and who is view the viewer trends only related to who you shared it with, which is very useful. So bottom line, answer the question. The owner of a Google document, if they share it with you directly, they can see when you last access the document. And if you're in it right now, accessing it, they can see when you're in it if at the moment they are also in it. And furthermore, they can see you down here uh, editing it live. Again, only if they share the document with you directly. Otherwise, they'll never see uh, anything other than the anonymous icons, and they won't know that it is you. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. Experiment with this, and you'll understand it more, and you'll be able to get more value out of it. I hope this has been helpful.